When we design MeasureQuick, we design it to work the way that you do. So a lot of technicians always want to use MeasureQuick and they use it either in a project or outside of a project, depending on what they know how to do. And in this case here, what I've got MeasureQuick set up is we're going to do a outside of a project. So you don't always have to go in and put in model numbers and serial numbers and customer information in order to get a lot of, of value out of MeasureQuick and all the diagnostics that it does. So what I'm going to do here, I got a, a set of uh, Testo Smart Probes set up here. And uh, you know, one of the first things you want to do is make sure that you have the equipment set up. So we're going to go into the system information and I'll put my glasses on here, too, here so I can just see here. And this is a ton and a half system. We'll set it up a ton and a half. R410A, 13 to 16 series, it's got a TXV. Um, it is a high efficiency evaporator coil. My subcooling target is 18 degrees, which I get from my manufacturer's label. And then all I need to do now is hit, sub, is hit the uh, down key for the keyboard and hit submit. And then I have all my targets set up for measure quick and it allows me to quickly access my, my diagnostics. Now in this case, I have a key point of data missing. I'm missing a suction line temperature and superheat. I do have suction line temperature going here, so let's make sure I don't have the, that missing in my app. So you can see here I have no suction line and superheat on here. I'm going to go to my toolbox, go to my probe manager, make sure that I have all the probes mapped. In this case, I have it mapped for vapor line temperature. you got to watch vapor line temperatures for the heat pump mode. So I'm going to map that for suction line temp, and that's for the uh, air conditioning mode. Now when I go back, I have superheat, and now you can see I have instability on my application. This allows me to do all the features of Measure Quick very quickly without going in and doing a full project so that I can uh, do a quick assessment and determine what my next steps are. So it's a very easy thing to do and hopefully it'll help you to understand how we intended Measure Quick to be used.